Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In answering questions like this, it's very important to have this figure here memorized. But instead of just simply memorizing it, Let's make sure we understand it. Starting from the left, we have gases. And gases are small and nonpolar. If something is small, it can easily squeeze through something, right? So the smaller the molecule, the easier time it'll have getting through. Additionally, if something is nonpolar, it's going to be able to travel through areas that are nonpolar pretty easily. So it's going to feel pretty comfortable going through the center of the phospholipid bilayer, which is very nonpolar. Next up, we have hydrophobic molecules, like benzene. These molecules are a little bit larger than gases, right? And so their size might tell us that they might have a harder time getting through, but because they're nonpolar, they're going to have an easy enough time getting through that they'll be able to make it through without needing any energy. Now let's talk about small polar molecules. Even though these are polar, their size, because it is so small, they can still slip on through past that nonpolar area of the fatty acid tails. And large polar molecules, because these are both too bulky and too polar, they're not going to be able to get through this lipid bilayer. Last of all, we have charged molecules, like ions and amino acids. Because of their charge, they are very, very, very polar and will not be able to get through that hydrophobic area of the lipid bilayer. With that understanding in mind, let's take a second look at the question stem. Which of the following are unable to pass through the cell membrane via passive diffusion? Cholesterol? Yes. It's nonpolar. Therefore, it's just going to slip right on through. Na plus? No, this is a charged molecule. Therefore, it's not going to be able to make it through. And glucose? Nope. That guy's too big and too polar to make it through. Therefore, the only ones that can't make it through are Na plus and glucose. Therefore, the correct answer is C, 2 and 3. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.